Hey guys, welcome to another first person gameplay commentary. This is Dry Bear, and today I'm going to be playing Ao Kuang. Ao Kuang? 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 Uh, for my spotlights, I like to uh, look up a lot of the pronunciations for the uh, items. I I mean, there's uh, Chin's Blades with a Q, and that was kind of weird, and then there's Aegis Shield, which is Aegis Shield in Ancient Greek. Um, and I I looked up how to say this guy's name, and I, I looked through YouTube, and everyone says it differently. Ao Kuang, I'm pretty sure it is, because I think there's some, most dialects say it with a k-w-o-n-g i don't even know anyways um today i've been playing al kuang and he's a magic damage dealer he's he's an interesting character and i, I play him sometimes but i feel like as far as an all-around character he's not as strong as some of the other ones um as like uh agni or we'll see what the enemy team has um but uh he, so his his passive allows him to get five percent of his uh mana his total mana pool his maximum mana as ability power which I feel that a lot of players kind of overdo um, they look at items they get items only with mana because of the 5% but it it really takes a minute for you to realize how much it's actually giving you there's some items that aren't really necessary um, let's say um, boots of the magi which I'll probably buy here yeah, ooh, maybe I don't know um, but the boots of magi give you what 50 magical power plus um, 250 mana um, and the 5% of 250 is 12.5. So it's 62.5 mana or magical power for those boots. Let's check that out. Make sure I'm not making an idiot myself. 50, 250. Yep. So it'd be 62.5 magical power, which plus the movement speed is pretty good. Um, I might get reinforced boots this game. But um, yeah, there's some items where there's a lot of mana item on them. Warlock Sash is really nice magical power plus stacking magical power and more mana. Um, and this is what 160 mana plus 400 mana 565 percent of that is uh jeez 56 divided by 2 20 uh, i don't know 20 something so it's 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 a, it's a decent amount but i feel like a lot of players overdo it um i'm gonna go for these actually i think i'm gonna go for warlock sash this game um probably should have called mid who took it did anyone take it oh agni took agni's a great mid that's fine uh it's the jungle Monkey jungle? Monkey jungle. I'll go right. Uh, oh. Offensive jungle. That'll do. What's up, Minotaur? Um, so yeah, there's a lot of people that feel that uh, kind of overdo it with his um, mana passive, so I wouldn't really worry too much about it. If you can, there are some good items. Um, if you're getting uh, pushed down a lot, a lot of uh, physical attacks. Uh, Breastplate of Valor is pretty good because it gives you cooldown reduction, which is really nice for uh, Alquang. Um, physical protection plus a buttload of mana. So this is really really good right here. Um, this is about 25 26.5 something like that So decent ma magical power, but also good defense um, And we'll go on to his abilities uh, his first ability is squall. Um, it's just a, a single uh, Skill shot nuke and it slows and does aoe damage this um, Is not really his best ability But it, it, it should be used before you follow up with anything else because you want them to be slowed his second ability is called Slither, um, and when he activates it, he moves faster, but he also moves faster for every enemy minion that's in the way. So if there's minions around him, he moves faster, but this is capped out immediately up to a stack. It's uh, capped out immediately if there's an enemy god around, um, and that is basically how it works. Um, and some people like to max this and leave Squall at level 1 until later, until you have more magical power. I'm getting pushed in here. Laser, getting hit by the tower. Um, coming in for the gank. Nice job. Nice job. Um, and his third ability you saw earlier was the tornado. It places the tornado on the ground, and this kind of takes some finesse to use. Um, it's not something that's easily used. What happens is you place it on the ground, and after a second, I can use it right here. After a second, you see they're not being affected, but now they're being affected. So there's a delay. There's a delay between when it hits them and when it doesn't, and um, when they're in that tornado, it applies a dot to them. You see it's actually killing them pretty well. Um, what a jerk. Um, you can see it applies a dot to them, and it lasts, I think, three seconds, and every half second it does uh, damage to them. And uh, what happens is, as long as they're in it, it uh, refreshes the duration. So, I mean, there's some people that, that uh, want them to be in it. Like, if you can get them slow, Creeping Curse, Gem of the Isolation... Um, you can keep them in it for longer, which does more damage. Um, but it really, you'll if they step in and step out, you'll do a great amount of damage. And if you get it to apply it again, it'll do about the same as if they were standing it the entire time. 
just because all it does when they're in it is refresh the duration. Um, and this is probably his most powerful ability, especially with Jemba Isolation, you can keep them in it for like um, probably an extra tick or, or two. Um, and it's 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 his it's his best ability, and it's really what keeps him alive as a as a powerful character. I'm gonna have to eat a bunch of minion shots for this. I just like to be able to get him. Maybe. Either way. Um, what I like to do with him is I like to max out his uh, tornadoes first. It's kind of his his big his big damaging ability. Um, it's his it's his most damaging ability for sure. And uh, let's see if I can land something. Like nope, not even close. Not even close. This guy's trying to kill me. Um, and then his ultimate is basically a big straight line. Spirit's Tempest. He summons one of his dragon buddies from the dead, and uh, he places a giant. I mean, it's probably one of the biggest AOEs. I mean, I could show you. I mean, it's it's about medium width, but it's pretty long. Um, once you do it, after a short duration, they will, um... Your middle tower is under attack. Come on! Oof. So you saw it right there. Um, after a short duration, it kind of... Oh, he's going for it. There we go. He's probably gonna die, though. Yeah, he's dead. Nice try, BBG. He needed some help. Um, and it... It... Al Kuang isn't really super intense with how he plays he's not super complicated um, and I think the his saving grace is the fact that he has his passive he can probably get some of the highest uh, magic power numbers in the whole game out of all of the I think it's just two on me oh he landed the laser too I'm in trouble that slow lasts forever Archer's gonna kill me maybe yeah um I think his saving grace is his ability to stack large, 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 large amounts of ability power, magic power, sorry, and uh, that's that what makes that's what keeps him alive. Um, he isn't really very complicated. God, I'm just saying the same things over and over. This is pretty bad. Uh, late game, what you want to do is kind of like lead them into the jungle because with his, uh, his Spirit's Tempest, you can line them up really easily. You want to get as many as you can with the ultimate. Um, that's why the jungle, because you can see right here, I mean, it's pretty much the whole width of the spell. Um, and it's really powerful in teamfights. I mean, you can get up to do 1,400, 1,500, 2,000 damage with uh, late game uh, ability power, magic power. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> this is going to take a while to do that. Um, and he's, he's one of those guys that should be very slippery as per his character. He needs to be hiding out of line of sight. I don't know if I can win this or not. Maybe. He's just harassing. This guy's really good. Jango Stick. He's playing very well. He's probably going to cut left again, so you can stay on that. Pearl Creep Aggro. Keep maxing out the Tornadoes. I have an Ultimate Roz coming. Is he going to dodge it? Nope. The Heat Badge down upon me. It's too late, buddy. It's too late for that. And uh, what I like to get with him, I go very heavy on damage on this guy. Um, I chose to get the Boots of the Magi just because I feel this lane is kind of dynamic. It's changing positions a lot. Um, it's kind of like here or it's up there. And, and every time Arachne comes up and pushes in the lane, it kind of just moves. So I want to have the, the ability to go up and down the lane um, and be able to be safe. I mean, I was pretty slow there and I couldn't really escape from Ra. And that's because my Boots were level 1 and I decided to go for a bigger build. Um, what I like to do with this guy most of the time is I uh, max out Tornadoes first, highest priority, um, and then obviously Spirit's Tempest whenever it's available, and then I get Squall, and I leave Slither at, the, Sl bleh, Slither at level 1. Um, on alternate builds, some people like to leave Squall at level 1 because it doesn't scale super well with magic power until later. It's kind of like a, a long duration type thing. I'm going to lose some gold on this. Oh, I shouldn't have hit it. Uh, nice, I got all three of those. Don't do it. So rude to me. Um, and then I, I usually go for the Warlock Sash. I like the Warlock Sash a lot. Um, I like getting it early. It gives you a lot of health, a lot of mana. It gives you uh, more of a stable game. Arachne's coming up. Dunna, dunna. Dunna, dunna, dunna. This guy is so aggressive. Oh. I don't know if I can get these last hits or not. It's on the Ogre. 
So if you guys are trying to last it under the tower, the melee minions um, take two tower hits and one hit from you from most gods from basic attacks. So what you want to do is uh, let the, the tower hit it twice and then you get the last hit. The archers are, I, I believe... Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, I didn't get it off? Are you kidding me? This is a bad game. Bad, bad game. So this is the downside right now. What you're experiencing is the downside of getting Boots of the Magi over Reinforced Boots. And it, it requires um, more of an elegant touch, and it requires you to be much more aware of your positioning, and um, it requires you to be much more talented with dodging things than I have been so far. Uh, and it requires you to utilize uh, consumables a lot. If I go for um, a kind of heavy damage build like this, like if I'm going on a melee carry like uh, Sun Wukong um, and I have Warrior's Tabi, I will always have healing potions on me because this kind of counteracts the fact that you don't have the regen from reinforced boots. Um, so you really always want to have uh, consumables with you if you're not going to be getting reinforced boots. That's kind of the trade-off. Um, and you can see so far, I mean, I, I fall very easily um, and I haven't really been very... Sandwich of traps. Ugh, I made it. Um, I haven't really been <laughs> super aware of uh, where I've been and avoiding things. Arachne's going. Nope. Um, and in level three, when you have level two tornado, you can kill the archer wave. So if you're playing something like mid, uh, the mid lane, or you just want to push the lane, you can drop it right on the archer waves. Um, and there are techniques to. Um, geez, he's getting fat. Did he go reinforce boots? He did not. He went for a do more. Oh, okay. Oh, I should probably be... God, this is, like, the hardest thing about first-person commentaries. Are they gonna chase it is the question. He's gonna go for it. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Don't do it. Don't do it. True. This guy's pretty fast, so I might be able to catch him, I might not. My squall might be in range. Oh, it's not. I'm gonna walk right through this like a scrub. Yeah, he's gone. Retreat. <sighs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I was hoping, since I've used my ultimate on that uh, Artemis a couple times now, that he would try and juke it. Um, he was kind of leading towards the right of the lane. He was going over this way. Um, and once he saw the animation of me going, I was hoping he would try to juke it over here. But maybe he saw exactly the direction I was facing there, I don't know. Um, I, at least I hit Ra, uh, I made him retreat. He probably could have killed me if he stayed too long. Um, but I did get the Artemis, which is pretty good. Um, these traps are irritating. Um, uh, what am I going to go next? Uh, let's talk about um, penetration real quick. I mean, there's a lot of things. There's, you see there's penetration here for physical, penetration here for magical. Um, for physical, there's some choices you have available. There's a Void Blade, the Execution, and the Titan's Bane. The Titan's Bane is 45% um, physical penetration, so it does a portion of what they have. And this is better for late game. It is not as good early game. I've seen a lot of people go Titan's Bane early, and I don't feel like that's really a good choice. Because um, if they have, geez, like, imagine they have 80 physical protection, um, and you're doing 45% of that, it's less than half, it's like 36 something. Um, and that's what you're getting um, as versus like an executioner which three stacks of 20 gives you 60 so you have like nearly the executioners almost double the effectiveness of the titans being early on but once they start getting more um, they're gonna go check him but then he's not gonna be there that's good um, so you can see one two I get the last hit one two I get the last hit and the ogres I think is like I counted it once it was like uh, nine to oh god Jeebus this guy does not like me. Oh man, I guess I'm out leveling them. I have the solo lane, and Artemis has died a lot, which is crucial. Uh, let's see if they're gonna try and get me. Arachne's coming in. Hopefully oh, that gets to him in time. I can start stacking this. And like I said, man, I, I don't have reinforced boots, so make sure you always carry uh, consumables. This is the trade-off, and you have to be very, very aware of that if you're not gonna do it. But you can see my ability power, 11 minutes to the game is already at 170.5 and that's without stacks of my Warlock Sash and that's the power of Alquang and that's why I like going damage on him. It, it's a it's something that I really like doing and I feel like like I said in the beginning, he's not an all around powerful character. I think the reason he's picked for any reason at all is because he has very high scaling, very powerful um, ability power late in the game magic power. God, 
Jesus. I'm not even, I mean, I'm just going to say this. I'm not even a big LoL player. Um, I, I pretty much play everything. Uh, and I have a pretty long history in MOBAs. I played a lot of Dota 2 probably for like last five months. Um, a good amount of LoL, a good amount of H, uh, HON, Heroes of New Earth. Um, that's why I kind of wait. I go back between creeps and minions. I go back between ability power, magic power. You know, I say heroes. I, and it's really tough to start a new game like this and be able to um, ingrain that into your own mind. Do it. Just laser. There you go. Um, I think I'll say, see how we're doing. Right tower is getting raped. How are they doing? Thebes Heartseeker. This is an interesting build. She's going to be pretty slow in the beginning. Oh, close. And it's hard to, uh, what I noticed from my last uh, first person commentary, is it's actually pretty hard to roam and like leave your lane when I'm doing this. Like I feel like my the entire game I'm just... That's going to miss. Um, I feel like the entire game I'm just stuck in one lane. She has movement speed. Is my Arachne here? Or oh, she's here. She's gonna walk through it. She got hit by it. Uh, is it enough to kill her? Probably not. Oh, level two actually. Maybe no. I think she'd have like 100 HP afterwards. I was thinking about using my ultimate on her, but I haven't been super successful at landing it anyway. So God, he's clearing those waves. Uh, do more. Oh jeez, he's going super hardcore. He's gonna hurt late game if we don't kill him. Um, Um, so the thing about Doom Orb is uh, you stack up to, I think, 60 stacks for two magic power each. And um, uh, obviously at 60 stacks times two, you get 120 magic power, which is very, very good for an item of its class and, and, and cost. It's very cost efficient. You gonna go for it? There you go. There you go. Get hit. Dunzo. BBG. Nice job. Gank. That's really good. Um, what was I talking about? Doom Orb. Doom Orb and Heartseeker as well. Very, very, and I feel like I said this in the last video. Um, they're very cocky builds, but they can pay off a lot. I mean, for people like Agni, Agni's one of those characters where he's pretty scary, um, but later, the later in the game he gets, the less... Um, less effective he is, simply because Agni operates on a very, very short burst. I mean, I could say short fuse for the pun, but um, it's a very short burst. I mean, a lot of his damage comes within, like, a, a four to five second window. So if you avoid that, like, with an Aegis Amulet, it's a really good counter to him. But also the fact that later in the game, people um, get, just from passive, like, you can look here, what is it, P? Yeah. Um, it doesn't tell me, but everyone gets a good amount of HP per HP and protection per level. I mean, in this game, people get uh, high... Uh, magic and you see I have 55 physical protection 30 magical protection with no items that give it to me so that's just from me leveling up um, so later in the game Agni if you can't kill someone outright like if you uh, ever played against an Agni and um, yeah, just kill these. if you ever played against an Agni and uh, avoided part of his damage like you got an Aegis amulet for two of his meteors and maybe you know that's it and he still has a meteor and ignite he still has very low low chance of killing you just because that's the majority of his damage that's where it's all coming from got a wukong here he's gonna go for the mana buff um, yeah he's hitting pretty hard but he died so you can see how before it was uh, killing all the, the melee minions and now it's not doing as much just because he died and lost his uh, stacks lost his stacks that's good anytime you see someone with a heart seeker or a doom orb um, and they have two of them they have a heart seeker on Kali and then do more, but I, Jesus, did I just lose a tower while I was talking about items? That's a disgrace. Um, oh, this isn't good. If I can dodge the mummy, he can't kill me. But I don't have any mana, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I can probably... I don't have any mana, whatever. Um, so you can see now I have 204.7 magic power, and that's from the... I have 42 stacks of the Warlock Sash. It gives you 2 health, 2 mana, 0.5 magical power per stack, stacks up to 80 stacks, and this is permanent. That's why I like getting it. Um, so if you die, you still have them. 
Um, their defenses are rather low. I don't really need any penetration yet. For magical penetration, you don't really have as many options. You have the uh, 55 or the 30 magic reduction from the Void Stone, which is pretty good because it gives you the, the magic reduction. Um, for heroes like Ra, for characters, gods like Ra, I like going um, this because it gives you magic protection, some magical power, and then some penetration. Anubis as well, anyone that has to stand in. And the other one is you get 45% magical penetration. And this is something that I was talking about earlier. Um, I don't really have mana problems, life steal. Um, do we have any AP? Not really. So, uh, Polynomicon is a good pickup, definitely. Um, I like getting it later in the game when you have high magical power. I think I'm just going to go for a gem isolation because it works really well with uh, the tornado. It keeps them in it longer. Um, and since it is a dot, it applies a dot to them. Um, it will um, keep them slowed for the duration. Uh, we've got... Um, Oh my god, I whiffed it. So bad. He's slow. He's not getting out of this. Oh! Come on, Kali. You know what to do. Walk through it. Is it going to tick? Oh god. See, that's the thing. is There's a delay. There's a huge delay before it applies a debuff. And for fast characters like Kali, does she have boots down? She does. Plus, Kali has really high movement speed. Um, so if they get out of it before the, the dot gets applied, it doesn't do anything. And that, that was at max range. This is as far as you can put it. So... Um, also, since we're here, um, maybe on the next wave, I can show you. There's a way for uh, Al Kuang to uh, kill an entire minion wave with just tornadoes, um, and it takes some practice. I don't know if we can catch him, we cannot. Um, so what you have to do is, you can see the, the area is pretty small, um, but what you want to do is you want to plan it so that, I'll show you on the next coming wave. You want to plan it so the melee uh, minions walk through it, and then it's just far enough where... Um, the archers will stand in it, and that's kind of, see I messed up, um, I guess I, I misjudged how far they were going to go, you want to dodge the mummy wrap here, otherwise I might get killed, oh they're not even coming, so you want it to have the melee minions walk through it, and then once they pass through it, they get the debuff, or they get the, the dot, and the archers will then stop at the very edge of it, and it, it takes some practice, and if you want to do it as the minion wave's coming, I don't play Al Kuang a lot, so I can't really, let's see, right about there, maybe, so they got the debuff and Archer stopped in it. So now I can clear the entire wave. It takes practice, but once you can get it like that, um, it, it, it's really easy to clear waves. Really to just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. So we've got one more over here. Yeah, that's Kali. And we've got two behind us. This is going to be weird. I'm wondering if I can cut these guys off and just force our team to isolate. Oh, geez, this is bad. Oof. Always a good mark of a of a good player if you're really looking to improve um, in any kind of uh, action RTS um, arena game. She's gonna go straight for me. Yep. And what you can do is this. That gets him. Yes, it did it. I'm glad that showed because I really wanted to talk about that. Um, so what happened there is when you're really low, you're very you're giving your enemies a big incentive for attacking you. So what I did there is since the ultimate is a big delay, um, what you do is you throw it in front of you and you keep running. They want to kill you since I was really low there. They really she really wanted to kill me. I mean I was very easily uh, that was an easy kill for her. So what I did is I gave her the incentive to chase me and. The biggest thing about landing skill shots like this is you want to realize what people have for incentive. If they're going for a last hit, you know that's where they're going. You can plan your skill shots that way. So I gave her the incentive of my life. And she wanted it, so she kept chasing, and I put down the ultimate. And, it, I mean, it's hard to show this with this third-person type combat, but I pushed it down, and to say it started here at this little light, I moved up here, but she kept chasing, and she stepped on the very bottom of the ultimate. And right when she stepped on, the dragon came by and hit her, and I got the kill. And this is something you can do with Al Kuang. It, it takes some finesse to play Al Kuang, especially against really good character, or really good players. If you play against high-end players, it's very hard to play Al Kuang effectively just because a lot of his stuff is easily dodgeable, and it's on long cooldown. So, I mean, if you miss your Tornado and you miss your Squall, and you don't have your, your ult, I mean, what are you going to do? It's like a, a 12 to 15 second cooldown for this, and this is like 10, I think. So for that duration, you're pretty much useless. You just run around and slither like a little snake, and I should probably get out of the well. Um, against this team, ability items... Creeping Curse on Kali, that's interesting. She's going for Frostbound, that's going to be really, really annoying. Um, stun slow, stun slow. Yeah, I think I'm going to get beats. And like I said, even into the late game, in 250 uh, health over 25 seconds, it's not a lot, 
and, and as the late game gets later, I mean, past the 20-minute mark, which is about now, I'm probably going to stop buying them. But for the first 20 minutes, you should always, if you don't have reinforced boots, be buying consumables. It's, it's very key, and you'd be surprised how slowly your HP regenerates, especially if you're someone like an Al Kuang, like a Dargan, the Dragon Wagon. Look at that wagon. Dragon Wagon. Um, team that's fighting up here. Let's check this. Still up. I don't know if I'll get there in time. My Gem of Isolation is done, and it's something you can keep in mind um, when you throw down your tornado if you can get it on them. It's a really long slow, because the, the dot just lasts forever. They might come forward. Oh, I might get her. I might get her. Oh, I got her. Nice. I'm going to get the fuck out of there. Uh, the, nice wall. That was a good wall for me here. Let's see if I can't. Oh, Kali wants me. I'm going to walk through that. There's still a tower here. Oh, come on, Anubis! Got him. Okay, and this is going to be interesting. There's one behind me, Monkey. What? Oh, he's at it. Lower HP. I got spiders here, so if he comes, he'll be slowed. No. So I'm actually getting somewhat better at this, being able to team fight and talk at the same time. It, whew, it's, it's intense. It really is. It's very taxing on the mind, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, I can hear the fire giant still in there. Uh, no mana buff. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Um, how much do I need? Where am I even going for? Oh, I finished the gem. Um, physical, 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 magical, magical. They don't have a tank, and that's probably their biggest problem. Um, for these kind of games, um, the game starts at drafting. So, I mean, once you get into the higher player, like I said, if, you, if you're trying to... Look at that. It's really good. If you're trying to improve your gameplay, trying to become better at these type of games, um, I would recommend picking one character at a time and playing them very often, playing them um, in, in series in a row. This guy's probably going to try and go for the kill. Um, just play them over and over until you uh, add that character to your repertoire. And eventually, if you have all the characters in your repertoire, then drafting becomes more dynamic. You'll be able to know what the weaknesses of every character. Um, not missing, gank right. Um, and also, use this, the, the V system. This system is, is an incredibly useful. I wish other games had this because it's so so useful by the time you said it you say it even if you have VoIP it's faster I just really like it and it's also um, you're not really used to everyone having uh, you're not used to everyone's voice this has one voice you always know nice job, nice job. gank so you'll be able to hear that and recognize it but if you hear different people talking or they, they I mean not everyone's very articulate so it's not very easy for everyone to be able to say you know I want this to happen at this time so being able to use something that's standardized oh, it's gone it's depressing. I have 316.8 magic power, and that's probably the highest in the game, maybe. Agni looks like he's tying me. Ra looks like he's owning me, but that's because of the death orb. Doom orb. The noob orb. That's what we're calling it. The noob. Noob orb. Push that tower down. I don't want to get stuck back here. Oh, the monkey's fighting someone. Fighting someone, monkey. I'm going to get hit by this. Owie. Let's see if I can't. Oh, oh no. It's never good. This is a good way to line up that ultimate, though. Block him so he doesn't get out of it! Get a good slow off on him, though. He doesn't know where to go. He's just gonna have to fight it. Oh, no. I think he's got a dot on him. I want to get away from Kali, because she can kill me quite easily! Good, the slow! Chase him through the tornado! Dodge that! And this is the big thing too, is this. The zoom. The zoom. Oh, lasers. This is really, really tense. He's probably still after me. I'll use the creeps on the minimap up here to look. Okay, they're scouting for me. He's gone. Come on. Come get me. Is he gonna see me? I don't know how I lived there. I really don't. Um, maybe it's the the blessing of all the gods. Al Kuang. Al Kuang blessed me. That's good. Um, I need some kind of defense, probably physical. I might, you know what, it's a good chance. I talked about this in the beginning of the game, um, and I like this item a lot for this guy alone, pretty much only him. But uh, mana, physical protection, ability cooldown reduction, very nice. So I'm going to go for that, and it gives you a decent amount of uh, ability power, magic power. Um, but <laughs> it's it's not a lot, but you're really, the main focus is the physical protection. And I'm, I may have wanted to get thorns. I mean, I want to get the hide of the Nemean lion. Um, here, but I don't really plan on getting attacked a lot. It's not really my MO as a Dargan, as a Dargan Worgen. Um, but uh, hopefully this helps me out a lot. 
Um, and you can see now Squall's lightning beam, you can clear the pre wave. You can do that somewhat earlier, but I feel like um, it doesn't scale as well as it could until later in the game. Um, let's see, I have 334. Itchy nose. Um, mid's getting pushed. These are wards, by the way. These are wards, so I just passed over it so they can see me. They probably just saw me. Uh, do we have a tower? Kind of. I probably should not be. Let's see if I can't. Oh, the boar almost got me. Probably should have turned around faster. Come on. Oh, really? Oh, this isn't good. Let's see if that can't kill somebody. We got him. Not the other guy, though. That was really bad. I should not have. Uh, my mistake there was going up and see that little pathway up there, up here. I should not have moved up. I should have stepped back. That really cut me off and um, really hurt my team too. I shouldn't have done that. 1425. This thing's expensive. Uh, yeah, so that's a big mistake on my part. Always be mindful of, like if you feel like a team fight's about to start, um, try and focus on where you're going to run to um, and where you're going to position yourself. Um, it, it, it's, it's kind of an art form, positioning. Oh, he's dead. Doing. We're behind by like 7k. It's pretty even on kills though. Um, I'm doing good. Uh, Arachne's pretty poor on farm. I don't know how. She had such a good start in the beginning. Um, Amir's dying a lot too. It's very heavy physical protection, but I feel like there's, there's yeah, there's more. There's three physical. Losing to a team without a tank. That's never good. Never, never good. Good. Come on, Minotaur. You got this. He's a champ. Django Stick stepping out. Django Stick going for the hook. Django Stick grabs the hook. He's coming in. He's taking full damage. And Django Stick goes down. So the enemy team is going to be pushing this Phoenix right here. They're going to try it. And they're going to get it. There's still a Dargan on the ground. Sad Dargan. Death Cap. Oh, that boar. Grasping hands. You're the monkey. So, I'm going to ult down to you. Good slows. Come on, Minotaur. Yes. Very good. Let's see if I can. He's standing still. He's standing still. Oh! Dude! There's one behind us. Where's he gonna go? Where's he gonna go? Where's he gonna go? Step through it. Step through it. Get him! Yes! It's slowing him. No! He popped beads. Oh, that, no, it's his uh, spin. During his spin, he's immune. He has the speed buff, too, so. I'm gonna get killed by creeps. Just for a demonstration. It's really good to do that. That was a decent cleanup. Um, our Minotaur took some damage there. See what his HP is at. I'm gonna be when I'm staring at the well. It's always oh, he's at half HP. That was pretty bad. But I have enough for my Breastplate of Valor. Very valorous. And there's other things too that some people don't really look at. There's the Potion of Magical Might, and I've been playing with some builds. It gives you 50 magic power for five minutes. I've been playing with some builds. Um, like early in the game where you don't get you get high like you get um, like level one reinforced boots and then for the first five minutes you get really aggressive with the potion of magical might the physical might isn't as good 20 physical power is decent but not scary and then later in the game there's the 25% uh, and this scales off of scaling so the 20% from this thing right here and then the, obviously the, the uh, fire giant plus this I mean you can get pretty scary that game especially Alquong I mean I'm not doing so great this game um, 8 and 3 Eight, three, and eight. I'm second in farm. Our, our Sun Wukong is doing really good. It's just, um, and Ymir's not doing too bad either. I mean, you can see that he has five kills, eight deaths. A lot, eight deaths is a lot. I mean, he shouldn't really die, be dying more than the Dargan. The Dargan's pretty easy to kill. Um, uh, but he has a lot of assists, which means he's kind of standing in the fights, which is doing what he's supposed to be doing. Um, I think this Arachne's been going a little bit too hard. Like he shouldn't have. He should have just let the Phoenix die there. I don't think he, that was uh, worth it. He could have hooked someone behind it when they try to push too hard. Retreat. Someone's trying to warn us of that. Ooh. Doing that for uh, aimable abilities is really good. I'm gonna die for sure. Yeah. I'm dead. I'm a dead man. Should not have been that far up. Someone was trying to warn me too. Um, I think I'll post this just so you can see the other side of me. The bad side of me. The side of me where I'm doing a first person gameplay commentary and all you see is this red border around my screen because all I do is die. Um, I, don't, I don't think my breastplate of valor helps me very much there. I mean it, it probably bought me an extra five to eight seconds of life. But uh, 
I mean, their Kali's pretty fed. Yeah, 15k. And she's only died once, which she probably has full stacks of the Heartseeker. The Heartseeker gives you 1.5 times 40, so that's 60 plus 25, so 85 physical power. 85 physical power for one, it's probably the, it's the highest. Um, I mean, I say that at about 90% surety. Oh! I gotta step out. Oh, boy, we're close. That Mintar's dead, though. It's GG. GG! So yeah, um, that's my Alquan game. It's pretty embarrassing, but uh, hopefully I covered some topics while you get to see a full-length match for those of you who don't have the game, and also for those of you who are just curious. Sometimes, you know, I, I do it too uh, with other games, especially this game too. Sometimes, you know, I get food, and I want to alt-tab and just watch someone else play or listen to things. And sometimes there aren't streams up, so we'll see. Um, and yeah, I'll probably play another game today. Um, today's Sunday, and I'll probably record both of those. Maybe do three. I don't know. And then uh, I'll render those tonight and probably post them in the morning. Because surprisingly enough, the uh, the other game took me very long. To do 1080p for a 30-minute game, it took me about four hours to render and then like two and a half hours to upload. So that's why in the video I said yesterday the patch came out, but I posted it on Sunday, which is quite impossible. So uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I look forward to uh, seeing you in my other videos.